Hello, and welcome to my first episode of Julie Plays Don't Starve. I'm also known as Evil Giraffe, or Elu Julia, or even Elu Ju for short. It's just my name, Julia, backwards. So today, we're going to play Don't Starve. I'm going to start a new life and see where the adventure takes me. I am using some mods. I will show that now. They come in pretty handy. They just make the base game a little bit easier, per se. We've got auto retrap, so you don't have to reset the traps every time you grab a rabbit. And map icons, you know, smart crockpot so we can see what we're creating. We want to see where the beefalo are, so we've got those on our little maps. So there's that. This is the current life that I'm playing. I'm not going to do that today. Like I said, I'm starting a new life. Here are the deaths that I've experienced so far. I was actually running away from some ghosts because I dug too many graves looking for a gear to make an icebox. And then I froze to death because it was winter and I had no supplies at my little respawny thing. So let's create a new life. I'm not going to use that. We are going to switch to the fire starter because like it says she has a sweet lighter and I think she's pretty cool. I don't have that many of these other characters unlocked. It'll be fun to play the different characters in the future. But right now, I like her. What was her name? Oh, I guess she's just called the fire starter. Okay. Let's start our new game. And see where the fun takes us. Hopefully we get a pretty sweet world with a lot of cool things to explore. You know, I don't feel so good. Alright, I will find some food. That sounds like a lovely idea. Uh, I mean, according to my belly, though, I'm pretty full. So, here's our little mini-map mod up there, which definitely makes exploring a little bit easier. Maybe a little bit cheaty if you... But you could really say all mods are cheaty if you want to be authentic to what the creator of the game made. I don't care, I like mods. I think it makes it more fun and diverse. Anywho, let's just, you know, collect as much stuff as we can while we load in as much of the map as we can. Because we'd really like to see what's around us, find some beefalo as soon as possible, so they can protect us. And we can gather their manure. I'm not going to pick any flowers yet. I have no need for them right now. But sticks, grass, flint, all those things are wonderful. Trees. I will make an axe now. And we'll chop down some trees. So that when it becomes nighttime, I can make a fire if I want to. Oh, well, I picked some flowers. Oh well. I'm just gonna follow the coastline, kind of see where it takes us. See if we find anything useful. Maybe find a place to set up base. I don't need to set up base anytime soon, but. It'll be nice to find a location to remember for the future. We've got a nice road we can follow. I'm gonna stick to the coast like I said though. Maybe we'll see some other land across the water. I really like the water. I think <laughs> it might sound silly, but I think that's one of my favorite parts about the game is how the waves look. So I'll probably ooh, a pig house. I'll probably want to set up a base somewhat near the coast so I can 
see the water splashing around. I'm gonna take this big tree right here. And then I am probably gonna collect some of these carrots. I think I've probably walked by a few. But I can always get them in the future. Ooh, what's what's that? I I, I really don't know what that is, actually. I've never came across one of them before. I think I'm just gonna leave that there for now. It looks like a vegetable, but you never know with this game. Could be evil. I mean, I like evil things and all, but not on my first day. I just want to explore. See what this map has to offer. Well, I guess I'm gonna chop down this tree. Pick up all the logs. I should plant some pine cones relatively soon. I don't want any tree guards coming and killing me again. Hopefully, I find a life stone. I do believe that's what those little respawn your life places are called. Hopefully, I'll find one of those soon. It's not too big of a deal right now. Nothing wants to come and kill me quite yet. But you, you never know. Ooh, another pickaxe? Hmm. I should probably go run along the road and see where it takes me. It'll be a little bit quicker. Ooh, this might be a nice like forest area to cut down some trees during the night. And eat some berries, cook up the berries, eat the berries. Ooh, there's a nice boulder over there. I think, ooh, spiders. Mm. I think I'm gonna, let's see if I can make a pickaxe. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and build that and go ahead and mine this nice boulder right here. Hopefully I don't disturb any of those spiders up ahead. You see nothing, Mr. Spider. Leave me alone. Alright, I think I like the idea of just setting up a fire pit here and cutting down some trees for the night. Well, I guess I still have a little bit more night. Alright, I'm going to load up a little bit more. And then cut down trees. Oh my. Oh gosh. I. Oh, no. No, thank you. I want nothing to do with that swamp. Not right now, anyways. Oh, there's the road, too. Alright, I guess I'll set up right here. We're gonna make a fire pit. No, a campfire. Don't wanna build it too close to the trees because then we'll cause a forest fire. Which is never a good thing. Well, she likes it. Her sanity will go up. She's crazy. She just really likes fire. I mean, how can you blame her? This world she lives in is kind of a creepy place. And fire creates light in this very dark world. So, yeah, I can't blame her. Mm, let's do that one right there. Then we'll move closer to the fire because it'll become very dark very soon. Do that one. Have a decent supply of wood so that we don't have to worry about it for the next night. I'll probably cut down more trees before the next night, but let's add some more fuel. Stare at this fire for a little bit, get her sanity up. Well, I mean, I'm doing pretty good on sanity. Go ahead and cook some berries. we're doing pretty well. We're going to want to make a science machine first, and I already have all the supplies for that, which is good, just because of that one boulder I mined. So, I mean, if we find a place we like, we could go ahead and set up. Of course, I want to keep exploring for, like, at least seven days or so. 
almost full health. Sanity's still going up because I'm staring at this fire. We're about to hit the second day. And let's pull up the map and see how much I've explored. Not very much. <laughs> we know that there is a swamp down here. Maybe I'll look and see if I can see any easily accessible reeds. Or whatever those things are called. And... Yeah, load up a lot more of this map in the next couple of days. See how cool of a world we have going on here. Hopefully I find a backpack. Well, I can make a backpack once I make that science machine, I believe. But I would like a backpack. I'd like to find Chester. Ooh, eat flowers. Ooh! This is the road I was wanting. On each side of this road, there is going to be a pig village. And one side will have the pig king. So, I definitely want to go visit him and get lots of goodies from him. Well, no easily accessible reeds. I think they're called reeds. I kind of want to find one just so I know what they're called. I should know what they're called. Ooh. I'm not seeing... It. Ooh, gotta watch out for those... Oh god! Watch out for those tentacle monsters. Alright, I'll come back when I'm better prepared. Does this go right into the swamp? It does. Alright. Can we get around the swamp? Oh yeah, I already already walked down here. Alright. Well, I guess I'm gonna go run the other way down that brick road and see where it takes me. Because pig villages are definitely a good place to be safe and to get a lot of supplies like berries and carrots and stuff and pig friends who can cut down trees. So hopefully I don't come across another swamp that I have to walk through. I'll eventually have to go through that swamp because I'm going to need the reeds to make a birdcage. Ooh, piggies! Hello! Do you guys have the king here? Oh yeah. Hello, piggy king. He's pretty cool. I have nothing to give him right now, but still pretty cool. Good to know that he's just right here. And once the hounds come for me, if it's daytime, it can come here, but I really need some beefalo. So that's my number one goal right now. Is to find some beefalo. Ooh, lots of spiders. Alright, so I'm gonna go see what's on the other side of this pig village. It's probably just gonna be a little peninsula here, but maybe maybe I'll get lucky and there's a place where there's beefalo. I guess it's like a prairie. I don't know. Ooh, spider. Ooh, more spiders. Well, I know where to come. When I want some spiders, I'll get the piggies to fight them for me. I'll fight some, of course, but the pig guys definitely help. I keep collecting stuff. There hasn't been much to collect, though. I mean, sticks are definitely useful. I need to make a shovel soon. Yep, pretty much it's just a peninsula. Lots of spiders and pig guys. Oh, thank you. Lots of trees around here. And it's gonna be night fairly soon. Not night night, evening I guess. It's going to be evening soon. I've not really found anything useful except for the Pig King, which is fairly useful. <laughs> Swampiness. Man, so that means there's either that swamp is just really big or there's two swamps right there. 
Hmm. I might need to check out my map and see where... I guess I'll run back over here. Because I need to follow that road right there and get back around to basically near where I started. Piggy King here. I would like to be close to the Pig King and to Beefalo, but it doesn't look like I'm going to get that. That's okay. There's the road I want to follow. Ooh, there's two roads. I'm going to just follow this one. And hopefully it leads to somewhere fun. <laughs> Everything's fun, it seems. We've got graves we can dig up around here. And a couple of rabbit holes. There's probably going to be a lot of rabbit near wherever the beefalo are. Let's see. Ooh, oh, no, no thank you. No thank you. A lot of spiders in this world. Ooh, another boulder with some gold I can mine. continue to explore in the night. Just equipped my lighter and just keep running around. Oh, I wanted to go down here though. Because I want to find the beefalo. And then continue to explore everywhere else. Ah. Crazy roads right there. Yay! They are right here. Hello, beefalo. Hello. You are my new best friend. How many more of you are there? Oh my. Hello. Nice little pack going on. Ah, very exciting. Not quite sure what to do with one of these ring things, but there's one right there for the future and some evil flowers. What do we have over here? if we have some coast up here. We've got some bees. Ooh, nice little coast. Yes. Hmm. Probably should just go ahead and set a campfire up here. Right here looks good. I keep saying campfire. Oh wait, no. That was right. Campfire. Yeah. What is the other one called? Fire pit. Well, second night, I'm going to make a new axe, it looks like. Haven't seen Chester yet, but I'm going to pull up my map and see if I happen to see his icon anywhere. See if I just happen to miss him. This little eye wand thing. can't remember what it's called. Let's see. Ooh, it looks like we've got a wormhole right there. Oh, what are those things? There's more than one. Well, I've got a pretty decent amount of the map explored, you know, in, in lines, but looking good. Probably should eat some berries. I'll just go ahead and eat them all. some more logs. And pick all these saplings around me. And continue to explore on our next day. I'm excited. I found my beefalo. Might as well just chop down this tree. It's going to be daytime any second. I definitely need to start thinking about real sources of food. I need to make all the things that a base requires, like a crock pot and a fire pit. 
So this is looking like a, a pretty decent little area here. Um, I should probably see what was on the other side of the beefalo on all sides. And then I will decide where I want to set up base. Let's see. I guess I want to follow this coast a little bit. I like when the little bees lay down. They're like, oh, I'm so tired. I uh, have to take a break. <laughs> I don't think real bees uh, lay down on the ground like that. Maybe they do. Maybe they do. Lots of carrots around here. I think I'm going to... Oh, didn't mean to pick that one. I was going to say, I think I'm going to leave them and pick them later. When I'm really hungry and have nothing else to eat. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen, but you know. It happens. Alright. I'm gonna follow this road back to the beefalo. I'm going to try to load up everything around the beefalo. And then I will know where I want to set up my base. Got some nice bees we can collect here. Some nice berry bushes. I'll just get the berries for now. Very nice little forest over here. So this is an option to live also. I do want to be kind of close to the road. And close enough to the beefalo, but not like where I can hear them. Ooh, maybe up here? I like the areas that are kind of like multiple types of ground also. Oh, and this would be right next to some rabbit holes. Ooh, a spider. Maybe not next to a spider. I can just tear it down. Though. Let's see if there's any beefalo down here. A couple more rabbit holes. Not a lot, just just a handful. So far, maybe in the center of this land there's more. Collect all the grass. Doesn't seem to be any beefalo down here. Does seem to be a big grassy area though. So, I guess technically they could roam all over it once their herd gets really big. Yes, this is quite large. And very empty. So no reason to come back down here. I'm afraid maybe once I get a shovel, dig up these grasses from down here and then I'll never come down here again. You provide me nothing! little bit of foresty area in the center. Interesting. Some bees. No wonder the beefalo aren't down here. They're like it's too close to those bees and that dark ground. Oh, this is a pretty decent amount of rabbit holes in here. I'll probably set up some traps down here. Here. Maybe. It could be my little like spider trapping area and rabbit trapping. That could be a thing. Sounds like a an idea. This place is really big. Ooh, I like this area for a rabbit trapping area. Lots of little holes. Hmm. And it was just right off the path. Alright. Just gonna follow the coast. I think I'm just gonna walk all night and just load up as much of the map as I can. And I'm just going to do three days for each episode because the time is just perfect. 
so this is going to be our last night during this episode. Hopefully we find a place to live. Or, I guess, in the next couple days I will know for sure where I want to live. Ooh, there's some land over there. I wonder if it's going to connect up here. I'm going to go ahead and equip my lighter. I definitely don't want to live in one of these dark biomes, so I'm guessing it's probably going to be over here somewhere in that green area, but let's see. I'm going to go ahead and pick up the manure. And... well, that... ooh, that doesn't look too terrible right in there. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to get over there. Maybe... oh, here it is. Okay. Hello, beefalo! So there's a, a decent amount of beefalo in the little field here. Mm, I don't think I want to explore that froggy area right now in the dark. So this is still some of this like prairie land, but where there's water here, so that's interesting. I don't know if I well I am on a road. Well, let's see where it takes us. I did say I wanted to explore all night. Kind of scared. <laughs> so this is the coast here. All right. Th maybe this is the area I want to live. I don't know. I'm just gonna follow this. Ooh, rabbit holes. Got some boulders. I kind of want to light this tree on fire. Kind of want to light this tree on fire. Oh, look how much we can see now. We collect some sticks. Be so productive. Oh, man, she's the best character. Then I can go ahead and pick up this charcoal. Let's light another tree on fire. Collect the charcoal during the day. Woo! I'm gonna just light another tree on fire just because. <laughs> Woohoo! Fire! Let's get my sandy up some. Actually, I wasn't even paying attention to that. I wonder if you can cook berries on. No, you can't. That would have been cool if you could cook berries on the fires you create. But that's going to be the end of today's episode. Thank you for watching, and let me know what you think. Bye!